Similar situations often lead to different outcomes. This applies in life as well as Mahjong. Hello, and welcome to our YouTube channel. If you haven't yet, we invite you to subscribe so you get notified when we post new videos. Today's video, we're gonna be discussing how when player A discards a one bam, the actions of player B by where they place their tiles and what they say can result in Mahjan, a dead hand, or they get to play on. First, we'll go over the four situations and then we'll go on to other slides and discuss whether it's Mahjan, a dead hand, or play on. If at any time you need additional time, please press pause and then resume when you're ready to continue. Let's get started. In situation one, player B calls the discarded one bam. Then they place the discard in the sloping portion of their rack, expose the grouping of one bams, add other exposures and declare Mahjong. They have 14 tiles that match a hand on the current card. Is this situation Mahjong, a dead hand or play on? Number two, player B claims the discard and says Mahjong. They place the one bam on the flat portion of their rack add other tiles, and then expose 14 tiles that match a hand on the current card. Is this Mahjong a dead hand or play on? Have you noticed the difference between one and two? The difference is where player B is placing that claim tile. To give you a hint, if you were playing by tournament rules, one of these would be a dead hand. In all of our videos, unless we say otherwise, we are discussing National Mahjong League room rules for home play. In one and two, under current rules, the answer is the same for home play. Now, let's move on to number three. Player B claims the discard and says Mahjong. They place the one bam on the flat portion of the rack along with two other one bams. Next, they add an exposure of three norths. Player B then says something to the effect of, my bad, my mistake, can't do that, never mind. And they return the Norse to the rack and discard. Is this permissible? Is this Mahjong, a dead hand, or does everyone play on? Finally, player B calls the discarded tile by saying claim or call. They place the discard on the flat portion of the rack along with other one bams. They add another exposure without saying anything. They do not say Mahjong. They then return the other exposure to the sloping portion of the rack and discard. Is this Mahjan, a dead hand, or play on? Now, while you're thinking, we just want to point out, there are games where players are very lax about the rules, and there are play games where players apply them very strictly. All games could be fun, and we encourage you to find players that you enjoy playing with. We point out what the actual rules are, so this way players can recognize house rules. We want you to be able to go anywhere you travel, anywhere you are, and play with players and enjoy the game. So it's important to recognize house rules. Another thing we wanted you to note, do you see that beautiful one bam in the top left and right corner? We are so excited that our replica and robe set is on the way and we'll be back on our website, modernmahjong.com shortly. We hope it'll be available in a few months. If you would like to be added to our wait list, please send us an email at modernmahjong with one G at gmail.com. And now let's get to those answers. Answer number one is player B has a valid Mahjong. Now you might be saying, wait a second, they put the tile in the sloping portion of their rack and the bulletin said, you must put the claim discard on the flat top portion of the rack. We reached out to the National Mahjong League and they confirmed that as of 2023, there is no penalty if that new rule is not followed. This is a definite point that you should discuss with your group, especially if many of you are tournament players, because tournament rules, this would probably be a dead hand. In any tournament that we've played in or been to as vendors, the rules provide that if a player puts the discard in their rack, the hand is dead, whether it's for an exposure or Mahjong. So we encourage you to check with the tournament director before playing. Most tournament directors have their rules on their website or available for phone call to discuss or send them a quick email and they'll reply with their rules. So best practices are 
pick up the tile, place it on the flat portion of your rack. And if you're wondering why, it's because this way the tile remains seen by all players. Once a tile is seen, it should remain seen. Now let's move on to number two. Here, player B verbally claims the discard and says Mahjong. They place the one bam on the flat portion of their rack and add other tiles to the flat portion. They expose 14 tiles that match a hand on the current card and <laughs> Mahjong. So this is the time where everybody verifies player B's Mahjong, congratulates them. Player B, if you play for money, announces the value. If there's a better, the better remains silent. And just as an aside, since we're discussing rules, player B is responsible for letting everyone know the value of their hand. If player B is incorrect and the value is paid, there is no do-over. Once the hand is paid and the new game started and everything, that payment remains. So once again, this might be a house rule in your group. It might differ, but the rules provide player B, the winner, is responsible for announcing the value of their hand. If they don't realize that their hand was self-picked and they get double and it was already paid, too late. So pay attention. Next, number three. Here, player B claims the discard and says Mahjong. They placed the one bam on the flat portion of the rack along with two other one bams. They had said Mahjong and add an exposure and then say something like, my mistake, and attempt to return the north to the rack and discard. This does not fly. Since they said Mahjong, they cannot put tiles back. This would be a dead hand. We have several videos and rules on what would happen after there's a dead hand and whether jokers are exchangeable. So we invite you to search on Mahjong community or send us an email if you can't find the rule that you need. Situation number four. Player B calls the discarded tile by saying claim or call. They place the discard on the flat portion of the rack along with other one bams. They add another exposure. They don't say anything. They don't say Mahjong. Very important. They did not say Mahjong. They return the second exposure and they discard. This is an example of play on. The game continues with all four players. The only player that this really hurts is player B, since now other players could have more insight into their hand. We hope that this video was helpful. What other rule and strategy topics have we not covered that you would like us to discuss? We invite you to email us at modernmahjong at gmail.com. Have you liked our vid visuals and other videos? We are putting together a book of visuals for really easy access to important rules and strategy topics. Stay tuned, we'll share information when it's available. We invite you to join us on our Facebook group, Mahjong Community. If you're looking for games near you or when you travel, you can post your city, state, and be sure to include the style you play, such as National Mahjong League Play or Ricci. We appreciate your support of our women-owned small business and invite you to check out our wonderful gifts and accessories on modernmahjong.com. Are you looking to play Canasta? Check out our group at Modern American Canasta and our YouTube channel with the at sign with the same name. Thanks so much for joining us and have a great day.